Hello everyone! Welcome to Massacres on Monday. I thought I'd start off in a good mood by uh, using that um, that song, although I do, I do keep forgetting that it's got that little bit of, well, extended silence because the video itself um, shows a splash screen of the Mass Effect logo, which, you know, really nice visually, it's got a really nice visual effect, but when you're using it just for audio, it's like, and there's just a period of some dead sound. Mm. Oh well. Uh, and also, yeah. It's better than it's better than the game itself. <laughs> yeah, Andromeda that is. The original the original trilogy and the remastered trilogy. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice games. This one though. Just no. Just no. Uh God. Ed, you wait, Ed, you wait until I went live to post what the countdown was about. God damn it! I swear, everyone's like, Oh yes, you need to go and have a look at this, this and this. Like, what? What? I'm doing stuff. I'm busy. Why do you choose when I'm busy to go and do these things? Uh, it's also like, you know, when I'm, doing when I'm doing stream prep, you know, that hour before I actually start streaming, that's when everyone decides they want to talk to me. I was like... I like talking to people, I like these people being around, but really when I'm doing stuff <laughs> when I, you know, the the short time of the the short time of the day when I'm not A not streaming and B not actually you know busy all the rest of the time of that. The one time when people are actually hey, wanting to talk to me is the time when I'm actually busy. It's like I, I, I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Oh god. I know he's a home. I'm just yeah. I'm, I'm being a, I'm being a shit. Uh, where did you put it? Uh, me saying it. Oh, that's really awesome, Ed. I approve. I approve highly. I like it. Oh God. Is there anything else? Oh yeah. Um, I will probably mention this more throughout the videos we get more people because apparently no no one wants to see this game I I don't even know I am honestly I am actually getting to the point where I think I just want to stop streaming this because it's just so there's there's a point where you know yes it's fun to laugh at and all the jankiness and point out all the crap that's wrong with it but there's a point where that stops becoming funny and just becomes sad and I don't know I don't know. I might, I might, I might part way, part way through this, depending on how this session goes. Part, I might, I might drop this. I might drop this. I'll see how this session goes, but this actually might be the last one because it is kind of meh. Anyway, it's got, it's got really good points. It's there are there are really good points in it, like the companions. The companions are really good in it. The the way they've done the Angara is really good. That's, you know, that's some up points of it. It does have some positives. The engine they use for it is really good. But the game's just awful. And it's like... And the problem is that, you know, I've done the companion quests for the two companions I want to do, you know, wanted to. And the fact that I can do them really quickly off the bat, it's like... So now I've, now I've got nothing to look forward to. The only thing I've got to look forward to, really, is the romance with Vetra. And... That's really not enough to carry the whole story forward. It's really not. Uh, but still, we will see. We'll see how this um, this session goes. Um, the other thing that I did want to announce, you know, the one that is actually you know, properly, oh. You know, uh, I don't know, more people. Yeah, having, having more people. Having more people around, you know, um, I'll announce this more a bit way through the stream. Um, but basically, um, the art stream. Uh, the art stream is now going to be two art streams. Um, mostly because um, ten and, both Ten and Scoo's schedules mean that there is next to no streams where I can actually 
get both of them in at the same time. Which is annoying. Well, at the very least, not for the entirety of the stream. Um, excuse me. Um, so what's the plan is currently is that tomorrow night I won't be streaming Infamous Second Son. In its place, I will A, start earlier at... Um, Um, at midnight rather than 1am and B, I will be doing the art, my first art stream then I will then go and um, the, ne the next one is basically planned for um, at the moment tentatively instead of the Dark Souls um, stream this weekend um, because that's been the best one schedule wise for a moto but that may change because i asked i asked her and um she said basically um saturday saturday i think but tell me later because ask me later because i've got a massive headache that like, fair fair um uh, so yeah so tomorrow night is going to be a slightly earlier stream and in all honesty i think i actually might start doing those streams earlier as a general thing because I usually did it um I usually did it where um where I know my evening streams were set to the point where um uh, I could sit down I could watch um Brett as in Tear of Grace um up until he finishes around about midnight then I'd have an hour to do my stream prep and then I'd jump into streaming myself that's that's the reason why it's been you know it was originally but i've realized that i don't watch bretta all that much anymore um <laughs> and tora just you know, went rogue and wiped the chat <laughs> don't worry though don't worry that chat may be wiped, but that chat hasn't been. I can still see that chat. It's just you, you lot can't see what was up there before because, you know, they refreshed it because I'm um, having to change the hydration train down there, you know, doing it live. So it happens. <clears throat> I don't know why I was looking over there whilst doing that as if I was, you know, trying to point out something on the overlay whilst looking at the game screen. Yet I'm looking here because this, this is where OBS is. So when I'm talking to you, I have the OBS thing up here, like here, so you know, I can actually kind of, kind of be looking at you. I don't know. Don't be sorry, it's fine. So yeah, um, the, the important thing is the first art stream will be tomorrow. Oh yeah, um, yeah, but I realise I'm not um, watching Tear of Grace anywhere near as much as I used to, partly because um, other commitments, as in at nine o'clock my time um on cer on certain days um i mod for school like i think i worked it out like um school streaming on wednesday means that i can't really watch tear of grace's stream on wednesday monday i can't watch it because i've got um D, D now thursday i can watch it and then, well, for the most part, and then I have modding's Mori stream afterwards. Friday is a bit of a no-no because Scoo streams and then Mori streams, um, which pretty much only leaves Tuesday and Thursday. Um, Tuesday is pretty much um, the only day that I don't actually have anything on and can freely watch. But in all honesty, I am quite happy with just you know moving my stream forward a bit and starting at midnight on Tuesday. The only reason I'm not going to do that on Wednesday is because um, it Scoo finishes their stream at around about midnight my time um, on Wednesdays. So then me having my stream starting at 1am means that I have time to do my stream prep and also so I, you know, I don't have to say, okay, midnight, I have to go you know, and dash. So I can still be around and help Scoo out and yet still stream on the Wednesday. Um, is that something anything I know? I've just given it, Ed. 
the, you know, the whole thing about the art stream. That was that was the announcement I needed to make. Was you know, art stream. <laughs> oh god. Um. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Tori. Yes, the emote. Yes, yes, I need to. I will pop that on my um, after stream notes thing. There we are. Um, yeah. Do I have two? No, two art streams. There's going to be two art streams. Um, but yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see if, you know, when um, Emoto is around for um, the other art stream. Um... But yeah, tomorrow night is when the when the art stream is going to happen instead of Infamous Second Son, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, if I get if I get tired of doing the art stream early, or you know, if it's not going right, then I maybe you know, I may start streaming Second Son after that. We'll see. We'll see what um, happens. <clears throat> but that's the plan. Instead of um, Second Son, going to be art stream, and I'm going to be pulling that stream forward. Oh, um. As for Masochism Monday, as in, well, not just in general Masochism Monday, but this stream of Masochism Monday, we're going to see how it goes um, today, but yeah, I might stop. Um, I might stop playing um, this. Uh, so what have we got to, what have we got to um, replace it with? Uh, let's see, there's Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Greedfall, The Surge. I should probably take The Surge off because I'm not looking forward to playing that at all. Technomancer. The DLCs for Control, Cyberpunk 2077, Lords of the Fallen, Thief, or Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So yeah, I don't know. Which one, which one, one of these um, is going to be, um, which one of those is going to be more fun to you know, laugh at? Uh, probably you realize I'm infamous. I know, uh, it's only, it's only going to be this week, it's only going to be this week. It is only literally tomorrow that I'm going to be replacing it. It's not a permanent thing. The art streams aren't a permanent fixture yet. Um, but I thought to announce it, um, you know, so that people aren't coming along to, you know, think that there will be infamous um, when there's just going to be, and whoom, me doing art. Yes, as Tora says, yet. Yes. We will see how these two art streams go, and if they do go well, then I might start going into doing art streams a bit more. Fuck knows when. Fuck knows when I actually have the time to be able to do an art stream on the you know, on the regular. But we'll figure. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. Uh, right. So with all that out of the way, let's catch up with some chat and then get into this awful mess of a game. <clears throat> Uh, first of all, hello and welcome Tora. Hello and welcome Tora again. Hello, welcome DJ. And then tired and don't want to do anything mood. That's me a lot of the time. I've already I've already had my protein shake today as well. Like I made the pro I made the protein shake um, when I started stream prep, and I drank it all before I'd even um, clicked the go live button. I was like, oh, yeah, that doesn't last me that long. I actually made the correct amount this time as well. You know, didn't accidentally double up. The song is just Chef's Kiss. Yes. Yes, that song is absolutely amazing. Hello and welcome, Ed. Uh, yeah, the post what the countdown was about. It looks amazing, Ed. Uh, DJ should stop watching food videos at late night. I get really fucking hungry. Like someone's dry age every meat he has. Even food that needs to be cooked like chicken breast, and he did cook it afterwards when it was dry age, and he said it tastes like fish. Ugh. Sounds like a good way to ruin food to me. Here we go. No, I'm not. I've had breakfast. I had a, I had a nice healthy breakfast. I have my protein shake, so you know, I'm good. I'm good for today. I also had a cup of coffee. I just only got home before, and that's fine. Did you wake up and choose violence today? Well, yeah, it's Monday. I choose violence against Mass, uh, against Mass Effect Andromeda every week. You know, just a few. Just stop doing that. Yeah, I might. I might. I might. If this if this turns out to be just you know unbearable and dull, I might just you know pull up something else. 
The problem is I can't really do a poll for it, seeing as there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games still waiting to go on Massacres on Monday. And poll options only go up to five. Um, apparently Square Enix is going to release Final Fantasy 1 to 6 in the classic looks. It's coming to Steam and apps, but each one is going to be sold separately. Square Enix also made a new Nier game, but it's mobile only. Yep. Babylon's Falls near gameplay, but simple and online co-op, so they say. I, I'm still waiting for um, Nier Reincarnation. I feel you're, I've pre-registered my interest in it, because, you know, it sounds like it's going to be a free game from that, because I haven't had to pay any money for it, but we'll see. We'll see how it actually um, turns out. Uh, it's interesting in Game Freak Final Fantasy, the new one, by what I read. People don't think the main character will look like a hero. Apparently, he just looks like a normal dude with a sword. So? <laughs> I mean, if you look at the character design for most of the other Final Fantasy characters, the main character, or some of the main characters, do not look that much um, out of the norm. They really don't. You know, for the, for, the, for the universe they're set in, they don't look that much out of the norm. Like, Final Fantasy XV sure fucking doesn't. Um... Hell, the start of Final Fantasy XIV doesn't, because you're, you know, you're dressed like one of your race. It's not, it's not even until, like, you know, I think the first time you go against Ifrit that you actually, you know, get the thing about there's something different about you. Everything else, you're just an adventurer. Uh, but also with, you know, with regards to the classic Final Fantasies, they, they're already on mobile. Like, Final Fantasy, at least Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are on mobile. 6 maybe as well. I'm not so sure about 6, but the other the other retro ones definitely are. Uh, that's okay by me, because uh, I'm actually bored of main characters that look like heroes. So main character looks like a dude feels more hero than a dresser's green or whatever. Yes, I made this whole thing. I mean, to be fair, Link looks like just a normal person from from the thing. The, pro the thing is, you know, making a character look like a hero is like, they can look different, but is it just because it's different to, do they look like a hero because they look different to us, or because they look different to the lore of the game? Like, Dark Souls is a prim prime example. Dark Souls, you blend in. I mean, e EDF, you don't. You don't blend in because you are literally a super soldier. Um, Infamous Second Son, you look like a normal person, pretty much. Uh, you know they have to have a look a look a bit dis a look a bit distinctive, because you know otherwise you're just playing literally some ordinary person and it doesn't really give much of an aesthetic feel. Ed sounds a bit like uh, a bit blunt, but you don't like watching you play a game because um, you feel you have to because uh, massacres on Mondays. I know. It what yo know, I don't I don't play games you know for longer than I want to. Generally, well, I may be, I may um, uh, play them a little bit longer than I want to because one reason or another. But generally, if I if I'm not enjoying it, I stop streaming it. With um, Andromeda, it has been a, sen a sense of determination so far. But the fact that I've gotten all the most of the enjoyable content out of the way already, and it seems like there's still going to be a lot of storyline, might lead to me changing games. Uh, oh, DJ, noticing the, hy the hydration chain um, changed. Tor going and fixing it and then breaking the chat. In fact, even it's not like normal masochism where it's laughing at game. Um, we like to watch and actually being torturous. That's fine. It's completely fine, Ed. You know, you're, spo you're supposed to be able to um, give opinions like that. And, you know, it is valid. And, yeah, wait. Yeah, I agree. When, it start when the game stops being um, enjoyable to me, then I'm not going to continue streaming it anymore. I've made that mistake before, and... It, you know, it pushes people away. I don't want to do that. Uh, da, da, da. So, uh, did you say I don't want Bretch a lot of the time? I did grow up with him on YouTube more than Twitch. I mean, same. I, I got introduced to him via YouTube. And I joined his Twitch... Maybe a year? Or so? Around about... I'm, I'm round about, like, somewhere between eight months to a year behind on his maximum sub, um, sub le uh, length and I subscribed to him pretty much as soon as I um, joined up um, but yeah yeah I, I definitely got introduced to Brett via um, YouTube 
but I used I used to be an avid watcher. Like every single day, I used to watch him. Then I started streaming, and then I you know offered to uh, mod for Scoo, and then also offered to mod for Mori, and also offered to Ed for um, Ed for mod, mod for Ed, which um, I've had to step back from as Ed knows and as people know because I just don't have the time because I'm modding for two people already, and I've got my own stream schedule, and a lot of the time through no fault of either one of us mine and ed's streams do tend to overlap so the only real stream i was able to make was the sunday one and now with modding for Scoo as well sunday would have basically been i stream for three hours then have to mod ed for three hours then have to mod Scoo for three hours and it's like i would like a day off on my sunday please so i have a little bit of break now and you know it's nothing against ed at all no i enjoyed what i enjoyed modding for him because you know his his channel is very easy to mod for generally it's just you know i didn't have the time that's literally it uh hello welcome poppy oh i no sort of remembering the emotes yes thank you how are we all i'm weirdly awake like i slept for jesus christ how long did i sleep for last night jesus eight hours i can't be right yeah, I went to bed at 4 and woke up at midday. What the fuck? Jesus. I mean, I know I woke up... No, I woke up at midday and then um, went and did the other um, video encoding. Jesus. How the fuck did I sleep for 8 hours? I'm worried. There's a more people here. Very nice. Oh, no, the announcement when more people are here is just basically reiterating the art stream stuff so that more people will be around to hear it. Excuse me. The game thong. I am not going to do a challenge where I'm wearing a thong while playing a game. No thanks. A, because uncomfortable. B, because I can't really show you that I am without violating Twitch TOS. Really, that infamous bar will be cool though. Yeah, I'll be down as special as making it do one, even though he puts a challenge. Ah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so there there is going to be so basically, the premise the premise of the first art stream, well, an art stream at least is going to be that my my one year of being um, an affiliate is coming up fairly soon. Like we're talking a couple in a few months, we're talking a few months. It's coming up now, and I'm going to need a sub badge for one year. Tora has offered to do it. But Mal, yesterday, came up with the idea that wouldn't it be you know, something kind of special and personal if it was one that I did? Now, I've got no confidence in my ability to actually make um, a sub badge properly. However, one of the art streams is basically going to be I will design my sub badge, Tora will do their version of it, and then people will get to pick which one they think is you know better. And, well, I can't, I can't say it'll be done blind because... You'll see me working on mine, but you won't see Tora's one. But, you know, you'll be able to pick which one, which one of the sub-badges you think is best, and that will become the other one. And the one, and the loser gets to made, be made an emote on Discord. So they're both going to still be used. It's just, you know, which one gets put where. Tora the Tiny Murloc. With some of the noises she was making, uh, sorry, they were making during this hot tub stream, yeah, I can believe that. But I'm going to have to fight back about the tiny thing today. Oh, sorry about that. Do you want us to give, a, give the tiny thing a rest then, um, just for tiny Tora? Um, Tora? Hey, sacrifice some money on to make rain for the art stream, get a breather. That's a, that's a really good um, point, actually, Woodgren. And hello and welcome. Yeah. Yeah. At the very least, could you know make it so that I don't know maybe at least what at least one um, massacres a Monday a month is an art stream. That could work. That could definitely work. And oh, we have an affirmation here from Poppy to Ed, and I just think, oh, good, good God. Well, someone's found one of the new redemptions I've gotten. Um. So, Poppy wants an affirmation for Ed. Ed, you are a very kind, sweet, and caring boyfriend. You're also fucking cute, and you're not allowed to just um, say no to this. Uh -huh. 
but no, you also do generally um, genuinely improve the lives of um, those who are around you and involved with you. Yeah, you're a really good person to have around consistently. Keep it up. And also, I've just seen thanks for the hydration reminder as well, DJ. That's still half full after the hot tub stream. And EDF. Where you, you know, you try to drown me. So stream is playing this game on the 14th. I'm in the top three. I'm in the top th I don't know what's more surprising. A, there's two people above me um, streaming this game. Or B, that there's 14 people actually streaming this palace shit. <coughs> uh, and so I was still waiting for the mobile Diablo game. Seven, oh, I didn't realize Seven was on mobile. Makes sense, but yeah, I couldn't. Wow, well, I say that I couldn't see them making um, Final Fantasy VIII on um, mobile, but mobile games have gotten so advanced now that it's like I don't know, I don't know what can't you put on mobile these days. Um, we can also read somewhere they're planning to make an animated movie set in the Lord of the Rings setting about the guy who uh, built the Great Keep of Rohan, aka Helm Hammerhand. Could be good. I I have mixed feelings about you know, the prehistory of um, Lord of the Rings. Like I read the Silmarillion. That's a that's an that's an endeavor. Reading the Silmarillion is a fucking endeavor. That thing reads like a fucking history book. Like, you know, the, the kind of, you know, really awful history books that you got in school, that's how the Silmarillion reads. Don't get me wrong, there's some really good content in it. Like, when Morgoth arrives, you know, the whole thing with, you know, Morgoth being there, holy fuck, that's good. Before that is basically Tolkien doing creationism, which, mmm, mmm, not a fan of. And, you know, the elves being the elves as well, mmm, nah. Uh, Hogan Red, what's going on? Talk about um, playing games and enjoy. Pretty much, yeah. Talking about you know maybe ending um, Andromeda's um, stint on Masochism Monday in favour of something else on Masochism Monday, something that I can have you know actual fun with and rip the shit out of. Whereas this, I can't. This one, this game just grates too much. Um, and there's fluff slash zero. Hello and welcome. It's probably on there for. Hello, welcome, Seraphine. Uh, that's fine. I understand about I'm not thinking nothing against you. I hope you're always happy to speak to you and shit. Also, yeah, the best uncle off stream would say offline, but um, we know each day that <laughs> online so private and publicly. Best also, I don't want to call right. Believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. But yeah, when it, like whenever people say you, they know me offline. It's like there's very few people who do because I do mo I do 99% of my interactions with people online. Like hell. Mo most of my chosen family, I have actually never met in the flesh. Like, really haven't. Um, less than half. Yeah, it's less than half. I've met... Out of my chosen family, I've met... Ed, briefly. Lex, Kane. That's it. Those three. Out of the out of the nine members of my chosen family, yes, it's nine now. New person got added yesterday. Um, yeah, so yeah, a third. I have only met a third of my chosen family in reality, <laughs> in the flesh. Oh fuck! And Zira found one of the new um, channel point redemptions. Yeah. Juan, the Tom Fuckery Dick Carcasses! Y'all got a new redemption? God, you're gonna regret this before it's over with. Young's gonna suffer big time. Ain't you happy? Maybe you'll get in the mood and wash the windows. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, God, Poppy found the other one. Bollocks. Poppy, Poppy found the one that I've put on a fucking cooldown because it, you know, kind of makes me want to, you know, make my soul leave my body. And yeah, Poppy Poppy found the voice that um, she missed that was on the hot tub stream. Just for today, please. Okay, Tora, no problem at all. We will we will lay, we will lay off the short jokes for today, Tora. How 
my hands. Oh no, dick hat. Oh, dick hands. Isn't that also a sex act sign? Yeah, sounds about it. God. I've got to see. I've got to see if I can you know, get back into the um the effort the effort of doing this one now. <clears throat> You heard about Poppy? Smear wants to frag her precious, but what about Lonely Kipper? Left her alone with some pizza. Wow, let's see the true definition of food porn. <laughs> there you go. That's my best effort of doing Kipper voice again, and that's why it's also on cooldown, because... Fucking Kipper. Uh, thank you, Uncle and Law. You are welcome. You are welcome, niece and law. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. It's, it's a 500 points redeemed to get me to do that kind of thing. And it's on cooldown for like... 10 minutes? Yeah. It's got a 10 minute cooldown. It's, you know, trying to discourage people from you doing it too much. Yes, yeah. Special. At some point, well, hey, my phone's on. I was like, don't worry about it, Tora. For a suggestion for replacement um, for Andromeda the Ninja Guide and Mask Collection. It's been out for four days. That might be fun for us at least. See, a Ninja Gaiden um, collection isn't a Masochism Monday contender, because Masochism Monday isn't, you know, about me putting myself through painful games, otherwise stuff like, you know, Dark Souls would be on there. Masochism Monday is about games that could have been amazing, but turned out to be shite. And that's, you know, that's mainly most of been brought up because, you know, I started it with Control. Control gave birth to Masochism Monday. Um, so, Ninja Gaiden is a fucking hard game. But as far as I recall, it's actually a really good game as well. So that would just be a contender for watching me bash my head against a wall. Trying to get past another game that's as hard as, if not harder than, a Souls-like. So with me, I right, for the Dragon Hugs? Yes. Oh god, clipping it. Why is it clip Kipper Popeye? Because I can't do Kipper's voice properly. I can't do Kipper's voice like Scoo can. Scoo... Scoo does Kipper's voice perfectly, but I found out it actually hurts Scoo physically to do so. Hence why, um, originally, uh, we were thinking of you know, doing Kipper voice for them if they lost a, um, a round of Uno during the Hot Tub stream, but then they said, you know, it actually hurts them physically. So I go, okay, we won't do that then. Um, so, Basically, I need to talk as nasally as possible and slightly higher pitched. That's kind of my Kipper voice. Poppy loves it. Good. Good. They say they caught the accent and turned them into Fox. Yeah, that accent was all over the place. I did not expect it. I couldn't I couldn't stay on track with that one. Also expensive. It's, it's like that to try and dissuade people from using it overly much. I was expecting the Kipper voice to be high pitched. I can't do high pitched voice that well. <laughs> oh, I can't. I just can't. Like it might only be a temporary thing. Like I did the thing of you know, having um, a Emperor Palpatine voice um, at one point, but now I realised I just couldn't do it um, consistently, and it actually hurt. So yeah, I stopped doing the Palpatine voice. So I might stop doing the Kipper voice as well because yeah, I don't know. I know. It's it's basically it's me trying to imitate someone else doing a voice, and I can't do anything anywhere near that voice, so it's a bit. Mm. Kipper is pop by the Sailor Man. Yeah, fair. Always had an easier time with most Souls games because of the lower tempo. Going just breaks my thumbs in a good way. See, now I'm wondering with a Ninja Gaiden like I I literally I only ever played Ninja Gaiden for the Xbox and got past the first level once and then it just pushed my shit in like royally um so yeah but i don't know how it compares to something like i know sekiro if it's like sekiro then i might actually be able to do it nowadays but if not hmm. siri almost made ty at popeye the sailor scout May oh made that popeye the sailor scout Well, that's that's gonna be a thing. There you go. I now have an art pro a new art project. Drawing Kipper as a sailor scout. 
So me and my old man, um, Jenkins' voice fucking hurts. Because apparently I was constipated. There. And Wigrid now has the image of Popeye in a Sailor Moon outfit. I'm not. I'm not. So I'm not sure what's um what's worse, Popeye in a Sailor Moon outfit or Kipper in a Sailor Moon outfit. Either way, I've caught up on chat. It's been nearly forty minutes. Let's go. I preloaded. <laughs> I preloaded because I know this game's awful for its load times. It also means you don't have to worry about um, game audio being muted. <sighs> right. First things first, let's go and do the strike, um, turn in the strike missions and all that bollocks, janky, wanky, wowlucksy balls. Guy could be described as a mix between Sekiro and God of War. If we're talking original God of War before the uh, new one, that might present a problem to me. Like an actual problem. Like if we're talking, if it's you new, know, God of War is, you know, the God of War aspect of Devil May Cry type um, combos, I'm going to struggle. Old in concert, Kipper pissing everywhere. What the? What the hell? Oh, mission failure. It was a it was a bronze all mission. How did Quebec the Krogan succeed? Well, not succeed. Got ninety one percent chance of success on that one. Send strike team. 89% chance. Come on. You got you gotta be able to do that. Right. Now And Zero is explained to um, Ed what inconstance means. Which I won't I won't vocalise, but you know, it's just one thing. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I should probably consult the journal. Hunting the Archon. Locate the flash catch ship in the Tefano system. Okay. Yeah, I have problems. Might might not do Ninja Gaiden then. The only the only co the only game that I have played where I am really good with the combos on it. Um, weird enough was Bayonetta. I I mastered Bayonetta and completed it, you know, on the hardest difficulty level. Yes, I fin I finished it on infinite climax difficulty. Loved it, but Devil May Cry. I cannot finish Devil May Cry on anything above normal. I struggle on normal. Welcome back, Seraphim. What's leaking? This is you drank four liters today. Why have you drunk four liters of water, Ed? And by it's a lot. That's a lot of it water. No sense picking a fight Sue doesn't need to know fast as leaky. Yep. Fitting typo. Right, does that say? No. Oh, yeah. Pathfinder. Sensors confirm oh. the presence of the Archon's ship. I'll be damned. It worked. But there's something else. It's an initiative ship tethered to it. It's Arc Parchero. Confirmed. It matches the Salarian Arc. Readings suggest it has been here for some time. Well, that changes things. Does it, though? Does it really? <sighs> so that's why you said you were wet for me in the cafe. <laughs> it's true then. Poppy no, Poppy yes. Sam, tactical. Oh Jesus. It looks like the Archon captured it. The ships are tethered. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Right oh my god! The Archon ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber. That looks awful! He's very proud of that relic. I just... Wow! That's what we needed. I appreciate it. And I appreciate that, uh... what you're doing for all of us. But be careful. How does this have inferior technology to the shit in Mass Effect 1? 
That makes two of us. Thank you for your help, Moshai. Of course. Oh, yeah. I wish you well. And now that confirms hey, who the main story right. ever was. Not only do we get away with the relic, I don't blame you. I'm already kind of bored. I mean, I was bored by the main story like ages ago. Just, you know, I kept on doing it for um, veteran Drax, and now... Hmm. Currently, Arc Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Solarians? Unknown. You heard the Moshai. The Archon's capable of anything. If he's done anything to those Solarians, he'll find out what we can do. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them back. Now let's make this one count. Popular already hates Pathfinder. Yeah. Yeah, Ryder is a bit unlikable. What well, she has one redeeming feature. Ryder has exactly one redeeming feature. She's better than her dad. Tempest, we're in. So far, no My good god, it took that long for the plant textures to load in. Pathfinder, if you access a terminal, I can assess the situation. You miss the Volus Elko and Batarians. I miss I miss I miss Mass Effect. I miss Mass Effect feeling like Mass Effect. This does not. This has a good game engine, and it's one of those things that if this wasn't if this wasn't Mass Effect, this actually might be okay. Apart from the you know the fact that it's riddled with glitches and jankiness and bollocks. I leveled up. I walked forward and leveled up. I still hate the character. I haven't met her dad. No, her dad's right at the very beginning, and like the game kills him off about half an hour in. So you're like, no time to form any emotional attachment to him, and he's a bit of a dickhead. So it's like. I don't care that the dad's gone. I really don't. And the Drell, yeah. Yeah, the Drell are awesome. Like, to be fair, everything about Mass Effect and the trilogy is amazing. Well, everything I can remember off the top of my head at the moment, anyway. Message from the Captain. Urgent. Alien vessels have been detected within the system. Effective immediately, all external communications are restricted to avoid revealing Ark Pachero's position. The unknown celestial phenomenon continues to disrupt long range scans. Positions of the Nexus. Excuse me. Arc Hyperion, Arc Lysunia, and Na Na uh, Natanus remain unknown. Wow. So I walked forward and leveled up. Congratulations for putting up with this long. Your masochism reached the next level. Ah! You're not wrong, Zira. And Ed, you're, Ed, you're, you're acting as if, as if she hasn't been here the whole time. She has, just, you know, under... Um, the other name. Um, barrier, fence bar, so it's... Um, do not more max shields, or do I want help? Then, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go with that. Best free gem. Weapon weight capacity... Oh, while well, biotic effects um, upon an enemy. I don't really use biotics to have an effect, so that's kind of useless. Reduce weapon weight and improve shields while speed while shields are active. Biotic powers that deplete shields to activate, shields cost is reduced. Oh, right. Uh, might as well. What's the other one? So, shields are stored at low health. Low health threshold, down to 1%. Okay. Shields, ooh, 10% shield restore on biotic kill isn't bad, but it's only 10%. Also affects squad mates within 6 meters. That is useless for the fact that I use charge most of the time. That's, that one's not bad, though. The saving barrier is actually a pretty good one. Oh, right, for running gag. Uh, fluff stalks him. Oh, right. So you can play say, fuck off, fluff muncher. I mean, to be fair, I do the same. But it's with um, uh, Tora and Kipper. Kinetic Channel unlocked. Their yeah, depth profile is now rank 3. But I'm still frontline fighter. She can't go up for that yet. And I don't think he can. No, they've both. Oh, no, wait. No, he's got 9 points. He can get his, his Yank 6. Yank 6. 
Um, when Drac is near death and has not done so recently, he ignores any recharge lines and enters Blood Rage immediately. Ha! Ah! And yeah, when you say when you say when you say fluff, fuck off, fluff, muncher, it's just yeah, yeah, that's and yeah, and Poppy's caught on to it. Told me, give me my secret. Tori, it was announced during the last infamous stream, or maybe the one before that. Each time Drac defeats an enemy while raging, his fury lasts even longer. Yeah. Nuggets will have Nuggets Day. That's just worrying. That's really worrying. There we go. Accessing Arcachero's internal systems. A moment. Additional data encryption has been added. That's not regulation. Did the Solarians do that? It appears so. It's a cryptography key associated with their intelligence services. I have unlocked it. At present, Arc Parchero has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Location of Nexus is unknown. This is Captain Hager of Arc Parchero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Seven Reka. Situation urgent. Well, there we go. We need to find them. Overriding bulkhead door. Screw me! Screw me! Having to, you know, wanting to do the rest of the conversation, I guess. No, if once I do mission status, oh no, get out and do you know, continue on. How does the ship look, Sam? Some cat infrastructure what, what, what? has been added, but the arc systems are operational. So it's flight ready. Yes. Ryder, are you thinking of? Easiest way to save everyone is to take the whole arc with us. Easy isn't what I'd call it. If the right Solarians are still on board, this might work. No bodies, no signs of a fight. Did the Solarians just give up? Let's hope their Pathfinder can make sense of it. Oh god, and Zero actually got the um, the clip of Ed's orgasmic sound. Um, Red decided to get my father a massive fuck off axe for a combination of Father's Day and a birthday present. Probably gonna get some 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 gyms or something too. <gasps> oh no, there's something funny about that. It's like, Father, happy Father's Day and birthday. Have a gigantic axe and also some candy. <laughs> I don't know, just you know, <laughs> the two different um, ends of the spectrum. <laughs> Swift, hello and welcome. I have no idea where it all means to go. Oh. This Solarian shows no vital signs. Half edge and status revival, okay. Symptoms aren't candy. Well they sound like it. You know, you've got weird can you got weird names for sweets over there. Like you know, Mike and Ike's. They have you cut them in sugar, they're jerky though. Your country's weird. I look at the point we didn't mean to make that mean to make that noise. That's why it's even better, Red. By agreement to the Ark sending your leadership, cease all defensive operations against the enemy vessels. The risk of catastrophic damage to the Ark and Collins is too high. Ah they surrendered to stop the deaths of their um people in stasis. Smart. Just heard to keep his voice in the school stream. How dare you keep trying to make a fool of my voice? So rude jerky is kind of good. I can play that actually. Oh, there we are. This colonist is deceased. The medical terminal may provide more information. So, my scanning equipment can determine the point of you know the cause of death for anything. Apart from when it's plot relevant, the top three favorite meats is showing my mouth. Also, they're showing thing. Yes, uh, he showed it in. Um, um, 
media sharing in my um, server. Jackling is your first for everyone has less death spice. But the thing I was <laughs> I'm saying nudes. Jesus. So that's, I'm pretty sure Poppy does. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Now, now you can actually see the um, the bottom conversation wheels thanks to the minimalized um, uh, overlay. Well, shit. Shit. The guy we're looking for. Can't catch a break. We're still more fortunate than him. However, initiative records indicate Pathfinder Raker is female. This patient is male. What? What? Then who is this really? I have his DNA signature from your scan. Locate a sequencer to confirm his identity. Oh my god. The DNA of the deceased Solarian matches colonist Jex Arlen. So they switched them, trying to hide their Pathfinder. Smart. Let's check this colonist stasis pod, see if anyone's there. I've marked the pod row. Typical Solarians all smoke and mirrors. He's not wrong. Weird stuff going on in my chat at the moment. Real weird stuff. Sure are a lot of pods gone. I'd like to think they got away before the cat showed up. The Solarian captain was too worried for that. This isn't Jex Arlen's pod. This isn't the pod we're looking for. This is the deceased Solarian's pod, yet I detect a female Solarian inside. I think we found their Pathfinder. Let's get her out. You need to access stasis controls to revive her. Ooh, strawberry rhubarb pie. Ooh, nice. Welcome to Solarian Skulldoggery 101. Yeah, pretty much. Need to make lunch. Yes, you do, Ed. Go make lunch. It's getting to early dinner at this point in time. So yeah, they yeah. need tr they need trained well, medical personnel to revive colonists, but we can just press a button and no, do it, and we're fine. I'm fine. Solarian stasis recovery is almost immediate. Who are you? Ryder, Pathfinder for the Human Arc. Where's Alec? He didn't make it. Professor Chocolate Cavity, he turns him healthy. Nice. This is Asa, yeah. When he goes to his face, I don't know. Hello, oh. oh. Grand K. Why are you playing this Travesty Game instead of Legend Edition? I because it's Masochism have... Monday. And it's showing off what an awful, awful pile of crap this is. Is your brother whatever still stuck in a coma or whatever? Yeah. That story detail got um, forgotten pretty damn quickly. Tell me what you're doing. Seeing what I've woken up to. A hostile species, an armada, set upon us. Our captain saw no choice but surrender. Said we'd live to fight another day. Additional 4K puts a shame. It does. I own it. I've streamed it once. And I liked it. It's Joe. But we're still in their grasp, I see. Oh, my my how, my best friend is Joe. It, it, it was her birthday present, so she's getting to play through it first. Wake up a flight crew and ready the arc for escape. Doing this game is one of the disgusting horror. I mean, yeah, also, no my, we'll my character's face. So you can focus on your objective. Enjoy it, it won't be Masters on Monday. True. <laughs> Red Pro, this game is as much euthanasia. Yeah. The lowest edition on... The Legendary Edition lowest graphics put this to shame, too. <laughs> yes. The, the original trilogy puts this to shame. <laughs> It doesn't even need to be um, legendary edition. Do what you can, but stay quiet. We don't want to alert the enemy. Share friends who play games, all yes, your friends are normies. I'm keen you. I've been a solo gamer for most of my down. life. I'm fine. Hello, Pathfinder Raker. Ah, a Sam in my head again. I'm back in the game. We'll be ready, right? Oh God. Tempest, we're in the tether. Going across to the catch ship now. 
So far, there are no indications they're aware of your presence. Good luck, Pathfinder. That's just awesome. As long as you're female, so I mean, no. Yeah. The fact that you get to see more females of the other races is a lot better than makes it to you. That nice little bit better. I am upstairs. Shut up. They threw us one hell of a welcome party. We're clear. <laughs> so much for sneaking in. What now? Oh. If you locate a terminal, I may be able to analyze their systems. Well, it's got 169 hours of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, so that's a win. So I'm plus it though, mostly because I forget to have a bit of season master at once since keybind sucks. Um did you have beer and cheese? Strong and perfect with beer with three fire salts. Guess one, three crisp. Yeah, sounds good. Combat in the food better than Andromeda. Hmm. <laughs> not fan I'm not a fan of where they took the combat direction personally. I still prefer it all for Mass Effect 1. I made it too action-y. If I wanted an action game, then I would have played Gears of War. To install the legendary edition. Systems now. I have located the Archon's private chamber. Is the Archon in his quarters? That information Welcome is not back accessible. Ed. Only the room's location. What's their security situation look like? An alert was issued, but I have countermanded it. The delay is only temporary. Right. We need to hurry. I need to be messing edge, but you better have gotten chamber. something more substantial than an apple. Rider. I think the Mass Effect one was really ugly. The arms weren't very pretty, aside from specific tallies. Doesn't matter about ugliness, it was still a much um, superior game um, gameplay wise. We'll help you get on your way. Let's move. It's first forward into Mass Effect properly, fair. I'm not grabbing lasagna because punch the same way you want to eat it. Ha! So they fixed this shit in Mass Effect 4. You mean 5. I saw the hour and believe Mass Effect Future is bright. Eh. I'm still I'm still hesitant. And now everything Everyone's now talking over each other in the game. But we have our own mission. Good luck, Pathfinder. You too, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam. So you punch something for uh Peter Minch or something? Oh, Zira, you don't know. Oh, Zira, you missed it. Three of us against a ship full of cat. Four of us. I count double. Oh, track. So, Zira. Don't be hesitant when you see my wife or Dr. Sonny will be um, carrying this dying franchise glory. I don't like her. I do not like um, Liara whatsoever. I like. Just no. I was very happy to only play her, play with her in my squad for as much as a achievement was needed, and then just dropped her. Was not happy with um, her whatsoever. Armory of some kind. Don't know how they're going to do it. The ending's Mass Effect 3 with anything being a continuation. Yep. So either they're going to basically mean that our choice meant nothing, or they're going to put it far enough in the future where, you know, the choices of Mass Effect um, 3 don't make as much of a impact. The RRX Italian Garrus are the best characters. What are you on about, mate? Yeah, you're, you're correct on all those apart from the Ara. The Ara's awful. There's just been no explanation to the Zanya Minge. So basically, Zira, when I first um, started playing Final Fantasy XIV, I was part of a free company, which is essentially a guild. And the guild leader was a um, a extremely gay man who was, you know, somewhat jokingly against anything female whatsoever. And in particular, he re he referred to the lady parts of um, one of the officers jokingly as looking like a punched lasagna. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with it. I always keep that on my squad, Tyler's waifu. That was an amazing most combination with the racing biotic character. Eh. What's your problem with the Ara? 
Well, A, she's an Asari, so she only exists in the game for um, the fact that Bioware was horny. Her personality is substandard, and it's just basically, oh look, I'm, in I'm so innocent, I'm so new, ha ha ha, look at me, I'm so ditzy. And overall, she just does not really contribute anything to the entire series. So I suppose, without the concepts, can't say it's wrong. I know, right? Because Jalapeno is stronger than cheese. <laughs> yep, Jalapeno is kind of strong. That does change the Mass Effect 2 forward, at least. Yeah, but then it just feels forced. Mass Effect 2 and 3 Liara just feels like, you know, they're overcompensating and forced. And also, still in it just because Bioware were horny, because that's what Asari all are. Her personality got much better when she became the most powerful information collector in the galaxy. She only became that by killing the previous one and taking all of his data. So, not really the most powerful information collector. She basically stole all of the stuff from him, from previously established shadow broker. So, you know, can't always give, can't really give her full credit to that. Just a moment, can you just call of course, not all sorry. No, but the concept of uh, got a worker here. Meh. Uh, that's a stasis pod he was looking at. But she also stole the one she killed. I'm not disputing that. I'm saying that she stole it, so she can't be you know, she can't claim that as becoming awesome because of it. But yeah, you're right, you're right, Ed. You know, the, that concept of you know, is there. Is good, but you could put that with most of the other races and it would be amazing. The Asari offer nothing apart from titillation. as literally their purpose in it. It's going to be a problem. Your route continues on the far side of the road. I don't pay attention to what's being said now. Well, those guns won't. Shit, the door just locked. No way, that's an accident. Look sharp. There they are! It's an ambush! Those tricky bastards! Get ready! Yes, the Kets are just tricky bastards. Also saying all those are is this to make games horny so is almost funny? No, that is literally what they are. So if you're gonna get like that, NK, maybe you know see have a look at things like you know, just look just look at what they all look like. All the Asari look alike, and what they look like? Oh, your typical average um, human females with bl with blue skin and head frills. Yet they say they can change themselves to look like anything their partner desires. Yet they all look like that. No, no, they wouldn't be Asari commanders just because the appearance of them, as Bioware has done them, yes. Boy, it's moot, my friends. Ah, yay. If you're going to be like that, you know, and not um, bring up the facts, then, you know, go away. <laughs> if you're having such a problem with me speaking the truth like that and saying that my point is moot, then you're free to leave the stream. Well, sorry, Mr. Game Tommy, we'll be strippers. And once again, you are completely ignoring what I'm saying. And only interested in justifying your own points. Cool. Sam, anything you can do? Provide encouragement. Uh, for one, hello and welcome. Celebration my hydration resources arriving. Cancel flavor sparkling water. Show you a video I even vote red hydration. Nice. Yeah, I'll take that hydration. Thank you, Tora. There, that was the last one. I was close. If Rekha's team hadn't come by, I suppose you may be one. I'll be a super Yep. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Now, what do we do about getting out of here? I have located a new path to the Archon's chamber.
They say no way to make games toys because they're following their genetics. Yes, you, can, you can't die over there, but then I uh, have no more time to waste here. And that would be a ban. Before Thursday? I am, yes. Play violence to these other base. Oh no, that, that just happens when um, someone gets timed out. Return someone being evaporated. Yeah. But yeah, bas basically what happened was he couldn't take being wrong. He couldn't he couldn't take the fact that you know Well, A, he wasn't even listening to my points properly. And B Rika, what's happening? He was getting to the point where, you know, he was you know, I'm sorry. Just being a dickhead about it. I can't access it. Yeah, true. Ryder, can Sam open this door for us? I don't know, maybe. Ugh. A moment when I override security. Also, Sarah Redemption. Yes, thank you, Zero. Rika, we've got a big problem. Did you see those guns back there? I know. They'll destroy the arc before we can power up the engines. Unless. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you've got an idea, let's hear it. <sighs> Venril here used to repair FDL drives on private cruisers. Venril, an EMP device? It might work. If we rig one to detonate near those guns, they'd lose power. And the Ark would be out of harm's way. What about your missing people? I'll keep looking. Captain Hadrian and Venra will focus on the... Why is it everything in, in sci-fi things you... Oh, we want to disable this. Aha! EMP. It's like... I get that, yes, electromagnetic pulses do scramble... Um, electronic devices, but at the same time... Hey? What? 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 Uh, there's, got, there's got to be other ways around it. Anyway, Thursday. Yes, Thursday's going to be awesome. Everyone, be careful. Good luck. <sighs> the door is now open. Oh. In the meantime, <laughs> we've got a relic to find. Sam. Marking the route to Why the Arkham Station. Why are we still keeping our voices low? We're sneaking onto an enemy ship. Who already know we're here. Yeah, well, old habits die hard. <clears throat> oh my word. Oh, Drac. Oh, God. I don't realize we have to go back in this one, it took them that long. <laughs> right. Tell you what, I'm going to take a bathroom break, and then when I come back, I'll do the Sire Redemption. I'll see people in just a few minutes.
the fuck have I come back to? Oh, uh, we're going. This is Andromeda, man. Because I think by this point they've spent a lot of creativity. I mean, yeah. I mean, also it's a different team than made the original trilogy, and the original team. Well, the team that made this were just not experienced with it, not at all. So can that guy pissed me off? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about right, Zara. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Playing the DJ for hydration reminder. Best lewd puppy says the best lewd old brother who's more lewd than Burn. <laughs> Ed Hubby says and Burn Hub does not. Yep. Yep, that is definitely yep. Why do people say that? Because Ed Hub is a thing. Perhaps should. Burn's innocent. <laughs> he's been holding on streams before. Yeah, but he's unashamedly like that. You. You just go right off the deep end. That's not something you decide to go in order to get insults. <clears throat> What the fuck is moot? Moot basically means um, pointless. So some um, uh, empty games um, last afternoon with a friend, and I completely succumbed to some merchandise. I'm now owner of the one bowl. Nice. Health Kipper, you should hydrate before and after. Make sure you're not ruining your voice box. Yeah, true. So Ed, which one of you is the uh, one that wants to put your meat in a guy's freezer? And on that note, I'm going to do the sour redemption. Um. Also, when I I I kind of want to just give up on this. I kind of want to give up on um, Andromeda. I know I know people aren't going to blame me if I do because it's awful. Is it just me, or is there some distortion at the at the edge there? Okay, camera's being weird. There is. Thanks, Zara. It's not just me then. It's not just my side. Wow, camera's fucking. Not for you, like literally, like, right, right here on on the very edge. Uh, there's all you know, color, you know, all those like color bleeds slightly coming inwards. One bowl to rule them all. One bowl to find them. One bowl to bring them all. And in the cereal, bind them. Oh my god, that's amazing. Why are you not more tired than I am? Got two hours of sleep. Yeah, I feel it's ten. It's weird. Whatever is going, whatever's going on, zero. Go, go see to it, and hopefully it's not that bad. Oh yeah, see now, yeah. Now that you know, now that I've noticed it, I can't stop I can't stop seeing it. That's slightly annoying. Oh. But yeah. Oh yeah, first of all, um Dice. Um The problem is that, you know, with what I want to, with what to replace this with, there's nine options. The poll allows allows for five. So I don't know. But Sarah, did you leave something on the stove again? It's a four. That's lemon. I have way too many windows open up on my phone. Can I say I did not leave anything on the stove. In is a different thing. So Zero left something in the oven. You may have. These smell like pineapple now. Anyone wanted black and roast? Oh yes. No, play my. How dare you stop playing this game? Ah. Jesus Christ. Right. Um. I've got no idea how to go about selecting what the next game's going to be. I I could roll a d10, but I kind of feel like you you lot should have some say in it. I don't know. Also, stream elements. What the fuck? Oh, that'd be why. That would be why the alert didn't come up, because I had the, um, the overlay turned off. 
Thank you, Woodgrim, for the 100 bits. Uh, Gary's heading to switch games. I, for once, don't blame you. Uh, also, that Edge of the Sevens looks like something off of an old VHS. It really does. Also, maybe make two possible winners facing off. That's a... Yeah, that's a good one, actually, yeah. Can you do infamous if you quit this game because the art stream will be taking away this week? It's like a fair trade. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind switching over to um, Infamous for the rest of the stream, and you know, we can also do a, um, a poll on what um, on what's uh, to replace it with. Uh, Reggie had to go for a bit. So, last, so to continue, well, last remember uh, the Ara best girl after calling out sorry for what they literally are is um, discriminatory. Yeah, um, pretty much after that, so I, you know, he refused to listen, so he got banned. Let's see, train. Actually, I probably guys, what we do sort of. Poppy, did you just say you like your own idea? Or is Ed on your account somehow? If I assume she because there was something stuck at the point, so it went poof. Oh my god, Sarah! Blackened and soggy, perhaps slightly toxic. <laughs> so fair enough, yeah. I remember the anime I was watching kids on VHS. Just like Sarah Hyde. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, okay. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, hello and welcome. Arrived late because Switch completely forgot the notification. I see Zero's made some progress at cooking. She didn't burn down the whole house. Yeah, yeah, just set fire to the oven. Uh, I uh, still think there are some good things about the Asari. It would be cool if her visual design wasn't ha ha honey blue girl. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is literally my issue with the Asari is that, you know, the Asari in general, I don't like their design because horny blue girl. As you say. Um, but you know, the Asari themselves as a concept, yes, yeah, no problem with them. It's just the appearance is what bothers me. Probably making it half without going. <laughs> it's hydration as well. I'll take the hydration after I deal with the sour. Um, so, yeah, um, one, of, one of my mods, could you set up a poll to. You know, decide between the first five games on my Masochism Monday stream queue, and then a poll for the next four, and then we'll do another poll between the two winners. Whilst I'm doing this, don't know where. Towards the because of mobile zero. Could you uh, do the ones then, please? Whilst I do this, fuck me. Mm. Holy shit! Mm. Mm. Fuck, I gave me a nosebleed. Oh my god. Oh, God. Arrival of the face, blood. Oof. Face down. Don't worry, Ed, I know how to deal with my own nose, please. Fucking hell.
Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina. I streamed one episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I got bored. It actually bored me. Sorry about that. It's only a tiny bit of wad. Not a proper one. Face and ass up is the way we like to. That's that's the way to deal with something, but it's generally not nosebleed. Okay, so control control DLCs win that one. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna quit out of this. It's the main menu. Okay, cool. So that, that poll's done. Um, and then for the next four options there. Um, which looks to be Cyberpunk 20... Oh god, Cyberpunk's there. <laughs> Cyberpunk, Laws of the Fallen, Thief or Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Oh my god. N yeah, Nia found, Nia found a new one. I'll take the hydration actually first before I do that. Hey look buddy, I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. My problems like wise beauty. Goes well far with the purview of conundrums of philosophy. I solve practical problems. For instance, how am I going to stop some mean mother hubbard from tearing me a structure of superfluous behind? The answer? Use a gun. If that don't work, use more gun. There you go, Nia. Which game part two? Oh god. Oh god. Why is everyone going for clunky souls? Everyone seems to be going for clunky souls. So if Salzio should be here today? I doubt it. That would have been real fast shipping. So DLC is winning this one? Yeah. When the one month thumbnail's done? As soon as you're able to, really. I mean, the, the absolute last cutoff date is before Friday, because Friday... Friday being a massive um, uploading um, streams, and also the fact that I have to uh, mod for school and Mori you know, for most of the evening means that I don't get a lot of time on Friday to do uploads, so basically, preferably before Friday. Cherry Cap has been super. Ah. Because I want to see how bad control really is. Since Control DLC so far, I want to say someone's greedful. Next one's between Control DLC, Cyberpunk, and Laws, right? Oh, no. That's alright, um, zero for that. It's answer is not what I meant. <clears throat> sure, Red. Mm. Excuse me. I mean, it's all or nothing with those bleeds. It usually is with me as well. I don't know why that one was such a minor one. Because with me, nose, my nose bleeds are generally because of the infected, well, not infected, agitated polyp that I've got there. Like just inside my um, right nose. <laughs> right nose. I have two noses apparently. One on the right and one on the left. Let's also bring these back up. So that is going to get moved out of here, move from this folder to off stream, because I might as well be playing it and you know, trying to platinum it when I'm actually focusing on it. Uh, which means we'll be going to the stream queue folder. Might have to download and install whatever it is that gets selected. Uh, uh, anyway, my return to Dark Souls, what we made to just go is one strength builds are absolutely insane. Oh yes, yeah they are. Strength builds can absolutely be nuts. The first guard and four hits, and the tower in Taurus the demon fight is not 100% safe. The fucker jumped up there, knocked me off, and then proceeded to almost kill me. Okay. I've never stayed up on the um, on the tower head long enough. I've, I literally have always gotten up there, and then immediately done a drop attack. Because I want it all or nothing. This is why we bleed out like a waterfall. <clears throat> oh wait, no, I don't need to do that yet. Don't need to wait for arm um, insulation, because I just remembered, you know, I'm going to be doing infamous. It's also the Fallen of Massacres on Monday, if I remember um, correctly, people were actually excited for a 2 on um, that one, but I might be wrong. So for me, Lords of the Fallen essentially is... Um, it could have been good, it could have been a really good Souls-like, but it ended up being really just... I don't know, really... Boring. And slow. And, you know, infuriatingly so. Um, infamous... There we are. 
a second sun. It's not my first playthrough, so I can remove that. There we go. Uh, which in part three, so yes, yeah, between laws of the fall and control. I'm not thinking it's going to be for a while. Uh, uh, Ever played it? It is. It is very, very. Lords of the Fallen is very much clunky souls. So let me go to the second vote. So we even saw time. Yeah. Fun well, fact: technically, you only need to, you only breathe from one nostril at a time, and then they alternate their duties. That I didn't know. But then again, excuse me. With the off with the um, frequency at which I have a blocked up nostril, it you know. Unlike that anyway. So, but it's tough, so yeah, you can be broken if I don't know what you're like, hmm. Really don't know the game apart from Cyberpunk. It's fair. Lords of 1 with 4, then Lords vs. Control. Edgar is a cyborg porn game. I mean, you can turn nudity off. I'm not getting any properly. Uh, yeah, you did. It's almost unanimous for Control. Well. Wow. Uh, these games are screwed. Do choose my vote? Google flip a coin. It's a CSC and um, DLC all. Uh, okay, can't explain the amount of shit error that's going me when I'm in my menu because I was made fun of it and shot it from up there. I heard the sounds of a loud jump and smack of a great maze. Ah! <laughs> you literally sent me a video of half a robot do shaking. What the fuck? Should I see how to jump my butt? Robot shaking. What? what? Sorry to hear that your stomach's still upset, so I, oh my good god, it's eight, it's eight votes for control now, Jesus.